Hey Steve, thanks for that inspirational video. It was very encouraging to to hear again that that our faith and our salvation is not based on any works that we can do. Because I mean we're human we could get pretty boastful at times. And I think that's the scripture that it's by it's by grace and not works that it not so that any man cannot boast. Anyway, but just adding on that, you know, it's important that people realize that, like you said, it's not about that believism that people could just simply repeat a, a prayer or follow after some kind of human leader and end up in heaven. Because Jesus said that He is the way, He's the truth, and He's the life. And the Bible lets us know that no man can enter in except they come through Jesus Christ. Many believe that they could come through good works, they could come through paying tithes, they could come through visiting the sick, they could come through all these other mechanisms and all these other avenues because, I mean, doesn't it say in the Bible, you know, um, Depart from me, I know you're not, you didn't feed me when I was hungry, you didn't give me drink, blah blah blah. But, you know, the the funny thing about that is, even after you've given drink to someone who's thirsty, even after you've fed the poor, even after you've visited the sick, even after you've done miracles, virtually, you can still hear, depart from me, I know you're not because it's not about the works it's not about the things that you do we hear all this rhetoric about oh only the things you do for christ will last and blah 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 but it's not about the things that you do it's about your heart because the bible lets us know that man look on the outward appearance but god looks on the heart he really judges you according to what's in you and he says that out of your heart flows the issues of life. And Steve, I just wanted to encourage you and encourage those who would take the time to listen to this or to watch this video to remind us that, you know, this is a world that that is very, very involving. It's very active in things and doing things and getting busy. And we can't take for granted that we're doing things for God and that pleases Him. We have to remember that anything done without faith cannot please God. For with, without faith it is impossible to please Him. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And hearing is one of the most <laughs> in active activities if you will because you can hear and you can take in it's like digesting it's it's what he said in Joshua you meditate on the word night and day and like it says in the psalm thy word O Lord have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you it's these things that, that help to build up salvation it's it's really letting the Lord prune you it's it's given him your obedience because you could give him the sacrifices of praise you give him a sacrifice of thanksgiving you could fast for 40 years and still not make it into heaven because of your disobedience because of your the state of your heart because of your intentions you feel that you can get into heaven because oh I work my way here don't you know who I am but God is a good God and he is just and he is going to give us what is due to us it says that after death is the judgment and believe you me it's appointed to every man once to die but in closing I just wanted to say that your your message really blessed me and it inspired me to to help others a little bit more to go out and reach those that are really 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 lost not just physically lost but those who are socially mentally 
lost, those who are really spiritually lost and who are dying on the inside but flourishing on the outside and those are the kinds of people that we tend to overlook. We tend to look at people even in the church, even in the chapels and say, oh yeah man, they, they're saved because they lift their hands, they're saved because they they can dance, they can speak in tongues. But I know and you know that the devil is a liar. No amount of speaking in tongues can quantify or can qualify you or your salvation. It's it's a result of your connection with God. It's your relationship with Him. And no doubt it's salvation is a process. You cannot cannot not 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 <laughs> you can in no way make it to heaven believing that it is your works that got you there because your works were absent when when they nailed him to that tree your works were absent when they they whipped him and they whipped him Your your works was absent when Jesus decided that he will come and die for your sins even before you knew him even before you were born before your generation was born he decided to come down from heaven, humble himself, and be obedient to God, even to death on that cross. You were absent, your works were absent, and your intentions were absent. And since all of that were absent, I suggest to all of us that you leave those things behind. Let the good works be because God has convicted you to do good works. And not your flesh, not your, your what we like to call a, or your will. Let your faith, let, let your goodness, let compassion drive you to do good works. Not status quo, not, <laughs> not anything else. So, be encouraged. Remember to always humble yourself before God and realize that it is He who works salvation out for you it's our righteousness is our filthy rags it's really all about Jesus because he died on the cross for us he shed his blood and by his stripes we are healed not by our stripes are any man healed or any man healed it's by the Lord's stripes that all are healed and that all can come to true repentance which is turning around turning away from sin and becoming a better person thusly so be encouraged again and have a good day always remember those who are trying to debate and trying to get you to do foolishness just tell them get there or push out <laughs>